Yes, my name is Ben Chan and welcome back to our rail tutorial series. In one of the previous videos we created this, which is our hanger sort of lifter with some automated hanger doors looking at how we can trigger movement from a single rail to other rails. In this video we're going to look at actually easing speed, in this case speeding up and slowing down our rail platform that goes up and down so that it's uh, a much more enjoyable ride. So let's firstly get in here and we're going to drop a speed controller. We'll spin it around so we can actually see it like so. So this speed controller we'll just use for these two here so our actual doors are a little bit quicker. So we'll plop it down, select the rails that we want it to. We don't want the top ones because, you know, otherwise it'll be a bit too dramatic you might get jammed up here. It makes sense for that to be a bit more smoother. And then we'll grab a couple of activation modules. Their buttons, they're not going to work. Like so. And we'll turn them on. And we should see that when we toggle it, and they move, they're going to drop. And they're pretty quick as well. Now I did point out that we need them here to work. And then again, we'll do it, and you can see they're pretty quick to close, and then they pop up, which is cool. But for this one, we want it fast and then slow down, you know, because people are actually going to be on this one, and you don't want it a really shaky movement. So what we'll do is we'll grab ourselves some buttons, and behind our main rail, you'll see I've moved these other detectors to the side, and on our main rail... We'll give ourselves, say, four on each. One, two, three, four. Which is great. Then what we'll do is we'll place some flip-flops in the middle. And then we'll just connect them up. So this will be that one, that one, that one, and that one. Like so. And then these ones will also connect up. So they need to go the alternate way. So the one in the inside goes like that, out, out, and the one on the top matches up with the bottom, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll grab these and we'll put them into an activation module each, like that, and then we'll chuck one on the top and we'll turn it on, like so, which is really cool. So that's all good there. That's all good there, what we'll do is we'll just move that one down and we have to reorder stuff again because we don't want one at the very top because it won't get triggered properly so that 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 and oh, that so the outside ones go to the bottom the next ones, this one and this one go to the next one the next one goes to that, and the inside ones both join to the top one. And these all go to an activation module. And then this all goes into a speed controller. So the speed controller gets connected to all these activation modules, and then it also gets connected to our main rail. And that's the whole setup that we need to do for it. And so what will happen is, as this goes up, it'll trigger the buttons, which trigger the flip-flops, to then turn on more activation modules. And as more come on, it'll actually move quicker. So it'll zoom up a bit. And then as it starts going on these ones, it'll slow down again. So we'll push the button and we can see that actually happen. So nice and smooth landing. But then it's quick going up and down. So we'll push it again. And we can see that happen again. And nice and slow for landing. Now we can go over here and jump on the gravity on the actual platform and we can experience it for ourselves. So we'll look here. So we're quite quickly moving. And they smoothly end up on the top and again. Oh, 
so we can travel pretty quick over larger distances but we can smooth it in and we can smooth it uh, more or less according to how many of these buttons we put in and flip-flops and now we, you do notice we actually have one activation module still on right there and that is otherwise we'll get stuck because <laughs> we will have hit stop and uh, we won't be moving anymore but you can see it light up as we go quicker and then it will turn each of them off until we've got just the one on as we go so that we go really smooth to the bottom like so wonderful so that is creating uh, easing for your rails it's really simple to do for those uh, using the buttons and flip-flops and activation modules in this combination um, which is really cool. In the next video, we'll look at using rails combined with area triggers to be able to ma manipulate area triggers and when they trigger. Basically, we're going to build ourselves a player catapult. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Until next time, my name is Bench. Thanks for watching.